guys, it's Stasia Talk TV and I am back with another video. So, <sighs> this is crazy. So, I'm going to speak about my experience with Corona so far. Um, where should I begin? So, Corona is basically a dealership where you can buy a car. Um, they don't really check your credit. They mostly go by basically what you make. So, I've been looking for a while, you know, saving up to get a car. And I finally got my car. And there was issues. One, because I live in New York, they had to drop off my car. So, I wasn't able to do the whole coin experience and put my coin in the slot and watch my car come down but they did give me this on my keychain which was nice kudos for that that's one pro and then one con um then we get the car um they end up giving me the car earlier than they were supposed to give it to me which was a pro but it was a very very rainy day and we didn't really get to drive the car around the next morning, my husband drove the car and the check engine light was on. Now, check engine light can mean a couple of things, but this, since this is a, a um, top of the line car, you know, there's certain things that can possibly be wrong, especially when you have a touch screen and you have like a digital dash. So we take it to Pet Boys and with Carvana, they have certain places where you can take your car and you don't have to pay. You can use your limited warranty or your Carvana care. So we took it to them and they said, oh, um, the reason it's on because the um, engine computer has to be reset, reset. So my issue with that is that means Carvana didn't check the car. Um, the oil was never changed. The last oil change was last year of January. And the oil is dark. Your oil is not supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be clear. It's supposed to be cleaned. So, one, the car has to be reset. That's $150. I, I informed them, let them know. Um, the oil needs to be changed. They never check the oil. So, in Carvana, there's different departments that's supposed to do this. Whatever department was um, part of maintenance, they didn't do their job. So, that's pros for me. Unfortunately, I am switching to get a different car. Hopefully, I don't have any issues. But so far with the process, they have really been working with me. I'm not going to lie. They, um, since um, my delivery was late, they given me 200. They given me like a... A reimbursement of some kind and then because the car that I have now is not really good they're gonna give me an extra reimburse reimbursement so when you get in any car in general make sure you have somebody with you that knows about cars bring your mechanic if your brother or even your sister your aunt uncle people who really knows about cars and can tell you bring them with you because if i was to drive this car all the way to church and i go to church almost an hour and a half away from where i live and my car started jerking the way it does i would have been pissed i would have been pissed because now you have to register online in order to go to church and that's not something you know good so make sure you just have a mechanic or somebody with you or you know make sure you drive your car a further distance because i thought i would never have to deal with this and now even for the swapping process I, it's a waiting game. I feel like I'm playing a waiting game. Everything is just a waiting game. So make sure you just align your stuff. Make sure you're calling them. Like, remember, you're still paying for this car. It's still your money. You still have to pay, do your monthly payment. So, yeah, I'm going to bother you because I need my car. I have work. I got things I want to do. And I don't have time to be back and forth with Carvana. So... I just want y'all to know, so far, what I've really been up to. Carvana is not really a bad company. I'm not going to say that because they're not, but there's things that can be better. 
And I know with Corona, that's everybody's excuse of why they're not doing their job. But things can really be better. It can be. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for giving me to 100 subscribers.